United Nations sanctions are actions taken by the Security Council to maintain or restore international peace and security. These sanctions measures aim to support conflict resolution, the fight against terrorism, and efforts to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons. Since 1966, the Security Council has established 30 sanctions regimes, 16 of which were terminated once the objectives have been met. Sanctions measures may include travel bans, arms embargoes, restrictions on the transfer of nuclear or ballistic missile technology, assets freezes, trade or commodity restrictions. United Nations sanctions are targeted in nature and are applied against individuals or entities who are considered by the Security Council to be working against international peace and security. The UN works hard to ensure that its sanctions do not have unintended adverse consequences. Today, there are 14 sanctions regimes in effect and more than a thousand designated individuals and entities. Designated individuals and entities may be delisted by the Security Council when there are no longer reasons to keep them on a sanctions list. Sanctions work best as part of a conflict management strategy, have clear objectives and meet international human rights standards. All member states, regional and international organizations and the private sector have important roles to play to ensure the effectiveness of UN sanctions.